Hello and welcome to this uh, playthrough video for uh, Jason Tagmeier and Mike Mullins' uh, Twin Stars Adventure Series 2. This will be a playthrough of one of the scenarios from this uh, second series of the uh, Twin Stars uh, game. And we're going to be looking at this uh, scenario here called Control the Skies. So let's have a quick look at a scenario here. So it's actually scenario 9, Control the Skies. But the moment rare metals are discovered on the ice moons of Verd's system, the once peaceful system is plunged into conflict. Is it true that we've already lost half of our fleet? Yorgana asks. Only two things matter, you reply. We're still alive, and the next wave of enemy fighters are approaching. Okay, so in this one we're going to need uh, 11 to 13 coins and tokens and depending on how many energy you're going to have again as always I'm going to play it on the easy uh, energy so we're going to have three energy tokens and I'm going to play with these recommended um, uh, characters uh, Tala Volk and uh, Hebolt Rom okay um, and here we have a, a little bit more scenario so in Control the Skies, two ace pilots must take down a wave after wave of enemy fighters using your targeting system and little luck. You will try for perfect shots before the enemies take you down. You must clear three, five waves of enemy fighters to win. If either character dies, you lose. Okay, and so um, we've got a bit of uh, extra instructions here. Uh, start with one enemy fighter. Each subsequent wave grows by one. Roll a die for the location of each fighter. There can be more than one uh, per location and fighters uh, are on the lines and the player ship is in the space in between the lines and may start on the space of your choice. Okay, um, so here we have our wave tracker. So we're going to start with wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. Here's our locations uh, down the bottom. And this is our upgrades. So we've got two upgrades here, a shield and the missile. So if, if we upgrade to the shield, we can then deploy the shield. But you have to get two stars to either use an upgrade or upgrade the weapon system. So shields, we can place a shield in a sector to prevent all damage to that sector, this wave. Um, the missile will destroy all enemy fighters in the sector of your choice, but we can only use it once per wave. Okay. Um, and we've got our, uh, where our energy token goes. So as, as I'm doing now, I'm playing with these kind of oversized cards. Um, you see they're about double the size, just a bit over double the size of, uh, of the regular card. But if you don't have the oversized cards, there are obviously the, the, uh, the regular sized uh, options for you there. Um, but I'm gonna use the, the oversized cards. Um, they're quite nice. So. And again, I'm using the deluxe uh, tokens, but you could use any tokens, any pennies or anything like that. Um, just so long as you, you remember where they are. So this is my upgrade token. So this is my shield token. So I'm going to put that. I like to put it next to the shield. And then the missile token here is going to go next to the missiles. Here are my energy tokens. Here's my little stack of uh, enemy fighters. And this is my wave tracker here. So. Uh, to start off, to start, we're going to have one enemy fighter in the first wave. We're going to roll the dice to see what position they're placed in. Position one. So remember the fighters are on the lines. And then this is going to be my, uh, my ship or my uh, token for tracking the ship. And I'm going to place it in between one and two so I can attack them straight away potentially. Okay, and as with all the Twin Stars scenarios, we've got our, we roll our dice, place our dice on our characters, and let's have a quick look at these characters. So we've got Tala Volk, an ace pilot with a hefty bounty on her head. She's got these special action. If Tala is at zero health, roll two dice, and if doubles, gain one health. So got a, like a last chance there. Um, We've got two checkpoints on the five and the six. We've got a one star on the on the two, and we've got a couple of these exclamation points, these warnings that are going to be. And we've got this in Twin Stars uh, series two. 
they've added this new focus mechanism. There's a couple of mechanisms added. This focus one only um, uh, triggers if we do a skill check. And if I get a skill check and I get a three and it's a successful skill check combined with the other character, um, we get this focus action where I can gain, gain a health. Okay, but it's only on skill checks and only if I place the three of the skill check dice on, onto, onto Tala there. Okay, so that's uh, Tala Voke. And she's got three health here, so we always start at the maximum health. So I'll put my health tracker there. And uh, the other character we're using here, the other recommended character is Hebold Rom, a transport pilot that dabbles in aerobatics. So here, a special action. Flip your die to the opposite side and you have to do a skill check. But if you fail a skill check, you lose a health. So I can do that action uh, whenever I like, but I have to skill check it. Now we are gonna struggle a little bit because he bolts a skill check range is only a two and a three. And uh, Tala's is a two, three and a four, okay? Generally, you want to have kind of complementary skill check ranges. So if uh, Tala, for example, was a two, three, and a four, it'd be nice if Hebolt was at least a five and a six, maybe a four or five and a six, and have a little bit of overlap, but it'll cover all of the dice options. So um, we may struggle when we get to help, uh, skill checks. Um, uh, Hebolt's good though, he's got four health. Um, so we've got a lot of health there um, to play with with Hebolt. Okay, so as with most Twin Stars games, if, you, if you're not sure what's going on, it's just best to roll the dice and, and start placing them. So I'm gonna roll the little dice and be the ones I place on the characters. This is how I like to play. Um, so I've got a five and a three. Okay, so I need to place one of these dice on one of the characters and one on the other. Um, so here we go. So starting off really well. So I placed a five there on the, on the check mark. I'm going to place the three there and the check mark and an exclamation. But we're looking for combos. And uh, with this scenario, we want either combos of double stars or combos of double check marks. So we can see there um, the combo of the double star, uh, double check mark. We can either destroy a fighter in your location or move and destroy a fighter in an adjacent location, but then to, for the move and destroy, we need to do a skill check. Okay, so we've started off um, brilliantly straight away. We've, we've got a fighter in location one and we are between location one and location two, so we can attack that one, we can destroy it. Gone. End of wave one. Okay, but our ship stays there. So we move our wave tracker onto, uh, onto wave two roll a dice so now we're going to be placing two fighters so one goes in location one and one goes in location four okay so the next time we are able to destroy we can obviously destroy here but to get this one in location four obviously this is shared location three and four we're going to have to move because we're currently between one and two Great, so we got a combo straight away on the first dice, pretty lucky. It won't be that lucky for the rest of the game, I don't think. So let's, uh, so we got a two and a four. Okay, ah, so here, again, we've got a, uh, a nice, um, a nice, so I'm gonna place the two there, but I'm gonna place the four on here and let's have a quick look at this. Here again, this is another new, um, a new feature of series two character cards. We have these reaction and we have these fatigues, okay? Now the reaction is an optional um, uh, action and the fatigue is a uh, compulsory um, required action. But um, we had uh, instance and, uh, and we had similar mechanic in uh, series one, except those uh, mechanics happened. These generally will happen after we've reduced the dice. If there's no combos, then um, then we we head into these fatigue and these reaction uh, actions. So and it, they trigger 
when you um, when you reduce your dice to them. So when I, if I was on the five and I came down to the four, I could then choose to do the reaction. If I was on a three and I had to reduce my die to the two, I have to do the fatigue action. Okay, so reaction is optional, fatigue is. Um, so actually I'm gonna place on four, which doesn't have any effect. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pick up this dice, which means I have to reduce uh, this dice. So it's now on, uh, on a check mark. So I have a one in three chance of getting a check mark, hopefully. So another five or six, oh, or three. Now three has that focus action, so nothing's gonna happen because the focus is only when you do the skill check. So I'm gonna pick this dice up and reduce this one to two and uh, six. So two stars is my combo, great. Two stars is either upgrade my weapons or use an upgrade. Now I haven't got any weapons upgrades, so let's upgrade the weapons and I've now, shield is now available to me to use and deploy if I want to. Um, I can only deploy it if I get another twin stars, okay? Or I could choose to upgrade. So pick both dice up because I had a combo. And let's uh, roll them both, three and two. Um, so let's put the three here and the two onto this one. Now, no combos, so I'm gonna um, pick this dice up and reduce this die by one onto the star again. Let's see if we can get that weapons upgrade or deploy that shield. A three, so a check mark and a star isn't a combo in this scenario, so let's have a a um, look now if I reduce um, if I pick um, so we've got no combos um, so I reduce one die so I reduce this down to two I have to flip the other characters die to the other side which is five um, but I'm picking this die up. Uh, so let's uh, get a five, get a check mark. Um, I don't really want to reduce this one. So let's take this and reduce this one to a star. I'm running a bit of a risky game here. Um, three is in the focus, that's okay. So let's pick this one, reduce this one down to two. Six, two stars again. Let's just upgrade. So I've got the option to deploy either of these two if I get another twin stars. So both my shield and my missile I can deploy whenever I want. Okay, a three and a three. Can't change, that would be a good skill check for me. Um, so let's reduce this one again. And re-roll this two no combination so I'm gonna pick this die up reduce this one to a one ah here we go to an exclamation marks is a combo that's obviously a bad combo so um, let's just have a quick look at this one so fighters attack uh, so roll to see which sector attacks. If a fighter is there, I would lose a health to um, a character of my choice. If a fighter isn't there, then there's no uh, no health lost. So let's roll. So if I was to get a one, a three, or a four, I lose a health. Four, got a fighter in the four sector. So let's, uh, let's reduce he bolt down. He's got the most health, so let's reduce him down. Now that's a combo, so let's take both both die back. A two and a five. Okay. Um, so let's um, 
Let's do a five here and a two here. And I'm gonna take this die and I'm gonna reduce this one down. Six, no, it's a check mark. So let's take this die, reduce this die down to check mark. A one. Now, uh, I can't reduce the one any lower, so I'm gonna to need to take that one to re-roll it, but that's putting me on one of these uh, exclamation points, warning signs. Three, it's got a check mark, but it also has the exclamation points So another attack by the fighters. Need to roll for two. There's no fighters in sector two, so great. No, uh, no health lost. Pick both die, roll them both. Six and a four. Um, so we're going to put the six here and the four here. Um, I'm going to reduce this one down to five and re-roll this one. And the four, again, same five and a four. I'm going to reduce this one down to three. Number five. Double check mark, so I can destroy any fighter in my location, so I'm gonna destroy that fighter there. So I'm now in here. So to get this fighter, I'm gonna to need, to need to get another double check mark and move to the other location, but I will need to skill check. Uh, three and a two. Um, so let's say three here and two here. So I'm going to take this one back and reduce this one down to two. Get a three again. Uh, so that's a check mark. Um, I'm gonna to want to take this, reduce this down to two. I need to flip the other character's die to the other side. Five. Okay, but then I'm gonna roll re-roll this die because I reduced that one. Six. Okay, so let's reduce this down to five. Re-roll this one. Four. Okay, let's uh, at least reduce this one down to three and re-roll this one. Three. Three and three. Let's reduce this down to here, let's uh, see if we can deploy the shield or I could deploy the missile. Um, if I get a twin stars. Um, no, so let's reduce this down to three. Reroll this die, four. Two exclamation points we need to roll to see if the fighters, where the fighters attack. They attack in sector five, obviously there's no uh, fighters there, so uh, no damage to me. Five and a two. Oh, so close. Um, let's put the two there and the five there. We'll re roll this one and reduce this one down. Um, I won't do the reaction, so five there. So let's reduce this one again. Hopefully we roll a five or six or a one. Double exclamation point. Uh, where's the fighter gonna attack? In sector two, there's nobody there. Good. So we're looking for this uh, twin check mark here. Um, a one and a three. Put the one there and the three here. I'm gonna reduce this, take this into hand, reduce that down. Two. So let's reduce that down to one. Hopefully we can roll a two. But a five instead. We're gonna take this one back. Uh, reduce this down to four. Skating on thin ice now. One. Uh, Another twin exclamation point. 
a four, sector four, we have got somebody in sector four, so we need to reduce a health on one of the characters. Two and a five. Um, so let's, uh, let's say two there and five here. So reduce that down to four. And all that, three. Let's uh, take that into hand, reduce this one down. One, oh no, that. One, sector one, there's nobody there. One and one. Snake eyes generally never very good. Um, I have got an instant here. I could re-roll this die if I, but I have to skill check. Um, I'm not gonna, the skill check range is so small. I'm just gonna take the uh, sector five. There's nobody there, so I don't take any damage again. Here, four and four. Uh, four, four. So let's reduce uh, this down to three. Hopefully we can roll that five and that six. Oh, no, another one. One, getting some bad rolls here. Struggling with this guy. Five, nobody's in sector five. Six and a one. So let's put the one there and the six here. So we can then reduce this down to five. Still got a double, still got a check mark. Six, oh, it's a shame. Just missed that, so let's reduce this down to there, three, mm, nobody there. Let's juice that down to two. Let's see if we're looking for one or a six, a six, twin stars. So let's, um, can deploy our missile. Let's deploy our missile and just shoot it out. Um, okay, so uh, defeated the last. Um, so if I want to get my missile back, I'm going to need to re-upgrade my system. So that was wave two, moving on to wave three. So we've got three fighters we're going to need to deal with here. Uh, so uh, sector three, sector four. We really need to move into that next section. Oh, sector one. That's fortunate. Okay, so. Five and a six, yes, five and a six. Blast that one out of the sky. Okay, here we go, next one. Three and a six, yes, brilliant. So three and a six, twin, double check mark. Now I can't destroy anybody, so I'm gonna to need to move and destroy one. So I move to the next sector along, and I destroy but I do have to skill check to see whether I take any damage. Now I'm looking for one of my die to be between two and four, and one of my die to be between two and three. Oh, two and two. So, don't lose any health, what's that? That's uh, really lucky, so great. And now I'm in the right sector as well. And so I just need another check mark, a three and a six. Um, yes, there we go, wow. Struggled with wave two, but wave three, blasted them out of the sky. Simple as, move on to wave four. Okay, so we're gonna have four fighters to deal with here. One's in sector one, oh dear, that's the next sector over from me. One's in sector four, good, that's in the sector I'm currently in. Sector six, oh there, that's the worst case scenario there. So I've got one, and one in sector five. Okay, so this is, uh, this is tricky. So we need, uh, need another 
wave like we had with that last one. A bunch of quick double check marks here. Yes, here we go. So three and five, double check mark, uh, blast that one out of the sky now. So either way, where am I? I've got to either come over and then back. I think that's probably best. I think it's probably best to go for this one in sector two, so move one to defeat it. Three and a five, okay, so another double check mark. So I'm moving, uh, move and destroy a fighter in an adjacent location, but I need to skill check. Six and a two, so I fail a skill check. I can place a two in either one, is it fine, but the six sits outside of the skill check range. So I need to, uh, reduce one of my character's health. But because it's move and destroy, I did destroy that one in sector one. I've now got to move all the way across. So I've got to move. So a two and a five. Um, so I'm going to place a five here and a two here. I'm going to reduce that down to the star and hope I can roll another two. Oh, three. Okay, so that's not too bad. I can take this into hand, reduce this down. So now I'm looking for them to roll a one or a six. A two. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one into hand, reduce this one back down again. A four. Oh dear. Double exclamation point. So now because we're in five and six, if I roll a five or a six, I'm gonna take some damage here. Um, a four. Fortunately, nobody's in that, no fight, enemy fighters in that section. A uh, four and a three. Um, so I'm gonna go four and three. So I'm gonna take this into hand and reduce this down. Five. So I'm gonna reduce this down to four. I'm not gonna do that reaction, that's optional. I get a four here. Fine, I'm gonna reduce this one down to three. I'm gonna try and get that double check mark that I need to move sectors. Six, yes. Okay, so I need to move sectors. There's no nobody to destroy there, but I do need to still Skill check, because I've moved. Two and a three, perfect. So two and three, both within the skill check range, they don't lose any health. That's good. Six and a two. Ah, yes, two and a six, great. Now I can either upgrade or I could deploy my shield. I'm gonna deploy my shield into sector six here. So whilst it takes me a little while to get over to sector six, he can't do any damage to me. Six and a six, double six is usually is good, but in this case, not so good. Let's, um, let's reduce this die down and take this one back into hand. Three. Double check mark. Okay, so we're moving and destroying. But I do need to skill check. Can't believe I've had two successful skill checks. Here we go, six and a four. Neither of those dice within my skill check range. So um, I'm gonna re reduce the health here of Tile of Oak. Now, and with all scenarios, you can spend energy to re-roll a die. So I'm gonna need to possibly do that um, before we get to the end, because gaining health is really tricky in this scenario. Here we have a one and a five. So I'm going to um, place the uh, one here and the, uh, what do I want to do? No, let's place the one here and the five here. I'll take this into hand, reduce this down. I'm not gonna do that reaction. And a four, 
Okay, and let's uh, take this into hand, reduce this down to three. Looking for that five or that six. Six, there we go. So I'm gonna move to this sector, destroy, but I'm gonna need to skill check. Two and a four. So two fits into either. So let's uh, spend an energy because I can't really afford and a one. Oh no, I've got to go all the way, haven't I? Two and a two, there we go. So skill check successful after a couple of re-rolls. So um, shield disappears for this last so it's this last wave so I've got to place five um, ships so first one in sector one next one in sector two this one in sector five at least I'm already in sector five next one in sector three Another one in sector five. Okay, so this is going to be a close scenario. Five and a five. Ah, oh, double check mark straight away. Destroy one of these ships in sector five. Done, dusted, out of the game. All right, let's uh, a three and a six. Um, yes, another check mark. So check three and a six. Sector five is clear. So a one and a four. Okay. Um, so I definitely don't want the one and the four there. So I'm going to have to place it the other way around. One and four. So I'm going to need to take this into hand. Reduce this die down. Five, double check mark, here we go. So move and destroy, but I need to skill check. So I've got at least a few skill checks going on here. A one and a six, uh, gonna have to reduce. He bolt down. Okay, this is getting health in here is gonna be tricky. So uh, that was a one, wasn't it? I'm sure. Somehow I changed it when I moved. Uh, so that was a one and a six. Um, juice that five down. Oh, a one. So I'm going to need to reduce, take this in the hand again. Reduce this down to four. Six. Oh dear. So double. Combo fighters attack. At least I've cleared off some of these though. So a three. Nobody's in sector three, no fighters in sector three. A two and a five. Okay, so let's uh, let's Let's go for broke, shall we? Five and a two. So I'm going to take this into hand, reduce this down. Going to be hoping for that. Roll a two, a one. No, no. I could re roll that die for a skill check, or just going to take my chance. A one. Ah. So I need two. Going to lose a health on one of them. So if I do Tara Revolt, remember her special action. Um, uh, no, let's spend an energy to re-roll that die. Where they're going to attack, it lands in a two. <laughs> so I'm going to need to, um, if she was ever to reduce to zero, I roll two dice and if I get doubles, I gain a health. If I fail this, then I fail the scenario, lose the scenario. Three and a six. Not a double. Tala is reduced to zero health, which means uh, um, 
if either character dies, Tala's just died, I lose the scenario. Fortunately, so that's it. That's the end of the game. Um, got to wave five, but I wasn't able to be successful. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching the video, please uh, give it a like. Um, and hopefully I'll see you next time. This was uh, Twin Stars Series 2 Controller Sky Scenario. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.